So let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever been sharing truth, biblical truth, with somebody that might be a non-believer or somebody that's not in kind of laissez-faire in their wor- in their worship, in their walk with the Lord, and they turn around and say, well, you know the Bible says, just not let she be judged. But what does that mean? We're going to talk about it. Coming right up. Yo, what's good, everybody? It is your boy, Eddie of Remnant Outreach Ministries, where our mission is to empower believers to become leaders, so to impact and influence the world through the kingdom of God. If that's the type of stuff that you're into, then consider subscribing. You know you want to. Let's get to that video. So I know you've been there. You've been telling somebody about, you know, hey, you know, it's 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 not good that you you know having sex outside of your marriage you're married out here and you're not supposed to be doing that you know love on your wife love on your husband you you know you, you're trying to live safe and, and i get that but i think you know you you shouldn't be you know lying to everybody about every single thing you know the truth is cool it's okay you know you might get in a little bit of trouble but that's fine because your morality is still intact you ain't gotta lie about it you ain't gotta lie to kick it I don't think people are going to invite you places if you keep stealing. You might, you might want to stop. Just, you know, just, just not steal. You know? You're telling somebody something with love, with the best intentions of heart for them to be better and live better. But the first thing out of their mouth is, the Bible says, judge not, let you be judged. Really? Now, there's another side to this coin, too, uh, that deals with what we like to call fruit inspection. What the Bible tells us, Jesus actually tells us that you will know a tree by its fruit. If it's good, it'll bear good fruit. If it's evil, then it'll bear bad fruit. And we go around, ju- and then we start to go around kind of judgy, uh, you know, kind of condemny, uh, talking about other folks and just chalking it up to, I'm just fruit inspecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. That, no, no, that's kind of not right either, no. So before we get into this, let's really talk about what is judgment, right? I got my notes here. Judgment is an opinion or decision that is based on careful thought, the act or process of forming an opinion or making a decision after careful thought. So when it, when Jesus says, judge not lest you be judged in Matthew chapter seven, what is the word that he's actually saying? What does that mean? Now, here's the thing. That word, that word carries a kind of duality. Uh, it can mean in a positive light, like in the definition that I just gave you from Webster when it comes to judgment, but it also can be in a negative light as well where it comes to condemnation. And that is kind of where Jesus is going when you look at the context of that scripture. He's not saying don't judge, but he's saying do not condemn. Do not judge to a point of rejection or condemnation. Now, again, as I said at the beginning of this video, this does not mean to have an absence of telling people the truth, but telling people the truth in love. The truth that without acceptance of Christ as Savior, there is no salvation and there is no eternity to be with the Lord. The truth that as believers, the word of God is our standard and not that of the world. It doesn't matter what your mama said. It doesn't matter what your grandmama said. It doesn't matter what your daddy said. If it does not line up with the word of God, if it takes you away from that, then that is not your standard uh, that you should be living by. The truth that our lives is to be submitted to Christ as King and Lord, meaning that he owns, he's master, he's controller, he's ruler of our lives on a daily basis. Hallelujah. Now, sharing these biblical truths and other truths like them in love is not judging folks. It's sharing the truth and illuminating the world to the light of the world. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense because I ain't changing it. That, it makes sense to me. If it don't, just say in the comment, I'll type something up. Anyway, now in Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 down to verse 20, Jesus is highlighting this whole using discernment and really judging people by their fruits 
when it comes to, you know, heeding their words and paying attention to what they're teaching when it concerns the word of God and things of that nature and how we're supposed to use a discerning eye, you know, really paying attention to how they live their lives versus just what they say. Now, the world teaches this all the time when it comes to putting people in position of authority or leadership, but we as believers, we should not be expected to do anything else because the Bible clearly says, you know, be, be mindful not to put a, a, a novice in position of leadership, lest they become puffed up and then, you know, they start acting all reckless. We see that happen from time to time. And I mean, I, it, it happens. It happens. Yeah, 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 it happens. It, mm, it happens. But still, that's not judging in a negative context. That's judging with a righteous eye and with discernment from the Lord. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But when that judgment leads us to condemnation, rejection and condemnation, then that's a problem. If you out here gossiping about sister so-and-so because the way she used to live, you need to stop that. If you out here looking at brother so-and-so with the side eye because he does one thing that you don't particularly like, but it's not necessarily affecting you or his walk, you need to let that go. He kind of hateful on the young generation because they like to do everything with their smartphones and you out here like, you know, why can't y'all just read the Bible with your paper and leatherbacks? Why you got to bring out your phones to read the Bibles? That ain't Jesus. God didn't design it for that. Stop it. It's sharing biblical truths based off love and discernment. That is what our job is supposed to be. But when it comes down to condemnation and just being mean and hurtful and rejecting someone because you just don't understand what they're doing, you need to give yourself to Jesus. That ain't Jesus. Give yourself to the Lord right now and stop it. God bless you. Ooh, that week was good that time, wasn't it? It didn't do it again. Y'all have a good day. So one more time, we're going to talk about this podcast. I mean, it's really nice. You should check it out. It's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. It's on, it's on you know, uh, Spreaker, all that good stuff. I mean, iHeart won't let me be on there yet, but maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll be on there. I don't, I don't know. But you should check it out. Um, it's really good. And check out the Facebook and the Instagram. And all the links are below in the description. So check those out. God bless you. Have a great day.